Hey folks, good news. WhatsApp now works with Zappy Chat. So High Level updated their integration with WhatsApp to where we can use Zappy Chat over that channel as well. So what we've done is we've updated the Supercharged Speed to Lead Snapchat to already have that integration in there. But if you do not want to go download a new Snapchat loaded into locations, if you've already built out custom things and you just want to add WhatsApp to your existing system, I'm going to show you how to do that right here in the rest of this video. So. Uh, once more, in summary, if you just want to go download the supercharged snapshot, you can use that and it's already set up to go with WhatsApp. You'll just need to connect your WhatsApp over in settings. But if you want to uh, customize an existing location, an existing snapshot, this is what you're going to need to do. First things first, head over to custom fields and we're going to need to update our field that's called response channel. So search for the word response, click that check mark, and we're going to click bulk actions and edit. Scroll down here and we're gonna to need to add an option called WhatsApp. Uh, since I'm doing this in my snapshot location, it's already added, but you would just click add an option and type in WhatsApp. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, this is just gonna be the field that we use to dictate what channel we are sending our responses on. So edit that field and that's all you need to do in settings. The rest of it is all gonna be over in workflows. So you head over to your automations and click into your AI chatbot settings. In here, AI chatbot workflows, sorry. In here, uh, we're gonna need to make changes to workflows one, two, and three, because workflow one is where the response channel is set, workflow two is where we send the response, and workflow three is where we send an appointment confirmation. So, number one, jump into workflow number one, and we're going to need to add a new, let's see, we're gonna need to add a new trigger. So, up here, click add new trigger, and you're gonna do customer replied. So just search the word replied and click on that. Click add filters and we're gonna select reply channel. So on this first drop down, select reply channel. And in the second drop down, scroll down and our new WhatsApp channel is there. Uh, and so for cleanliness, uh, for best practices, make sure to add, to add a trigger name to that as well. So we know which one we're talking about. Customer replied WhatsApp. Go ahead and save the trigger. I already have one in here, so it's not gonna save for me, but I already, since I've already added it. Once you've saved the trigger, you'll also need to click save workflow up here. Uh, and that's because if you don't save the workflow, it won't save the trigger into the workflow in order to use it in conditions, which is the next step we're gonna do here. So add the trigger, customer replied WhatsApp, save the trigger, save the workflow. Next, scroll down and click reply channel. What we're gonna do is add a new branch. Uh, and so you'll click add branch and a screen will pop up like this. You can name it WhatsApp. And in this first drop down, you'll select workflow trigger, then select is and select your newly saved WhatsApp trigger. Now a reminder, if you don't see that popping up, that's because you didn't save your workflow first, exit out of this, go save the workflow, come back. So save that path and it's gonna create a brand new blank path in here. What you can do from there, and I'll delete this so I can show you live. Um, so when you create it, it's going to create this new path here. What I like to do is just copy and paste everything over from here. So copy all actions from one of your other channels. I don't care which one you use. You can use any one and copy it beneath your WhatsApp path down here. Now that it's there, we just need to go change this. Uh, so you'll click update response channel. This is where we're going to update that response channel field. And rather than SMS or whatever you've copied it from, select WhatsApp, click save. <clears throat> and then save the workflow. So by doing that, you now have updated, anytime someone responds via WhatsApp, it is going to update the response channel to be marked as a WhatsApp communication. And then it's gonna to go to the rest of the process to fire off the remainder of the, fire off the workflow, update the fields, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. So that's all you need to do to workflow one. Next, you gotta update workflow two so that the workflow knows which channel to send its response over. So similarly, we don't have to add any cha any cha uh, triggers up here. You just have to come down to our response channel. Um, yeah, to our response channel criteria and uh, condition, that's the word, and click response channel. Down here, you are going to just add a new path. So you'll click add branch, name it WhatsApp, and then what you'll do in here is you'll click contact details, search for response channel is WhatsApp. So just if the response channel is WhatsApp, we're gonna have a new path. 
And then in this path, you are going to select send um, WhatsApp message. And maybe an easy way to do it is just do WhatsApp, WhatsApp message. And in here, uh, you're going to select a none template. So we're not going to use a template. Instead, we're just going to send contact.response. And so you can type that in just like that, contact.response with double braces on either side, or you can click this tag, select contact, scroll down to custom fields, and then select response, and it generates it in there the same. Um, don't do it twice, uh, and then it'll send double messages. So just do it once, click save, and you'll have your send WhatsApp message. Obviously, since I just showed you that, uh, it doubled up, but it should just look like that once you've done it. Save your workflow, and that's all you need to do to workflow two. Lastly, you will just need to update workflow three to send a confirmation message on the WhatsApp channel. And so in here, once more, no new triggers needed. You're just gonna come down to your condition and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add a branch based on the response channel and send a confirmation. So click condition, click add branch, and just to simulate it for you, do WhatsApp. And uh, in here, you are going to do um, contact details, search for response channel, and say is WhatsApp. Once you have that, be sure to save it. And uh, from here, you are going to, I'll delete this to show you. Uh, you're gonna add a WhatsApp message. I'm gonna copy and paste the body of my confirmation message over here. So I'm just gonna copy the awesome your appointment is set for um, yada, yada, yada. And I'm gonna similarly do send WhatsApp message. And rather than a template, I'm going to do this, click Save, just copying and pasting my confirmation message in there. And then I'm going to add a go to that goes to this internal notification and fires off the rest of the reminders. So that is all you need to do in order to set up your workflows, existing workflows to use WhatsApp and to have your AI respond over WhatsApp as another channel for Zappy Chat AI to respond in. But once more, if you are just downloading the new snapshot uh, or have the ability to go download the new snapshot and load that in, it's all pre-built for you and you don't have to do any of this. So hope that helps. Good luck. Good luck using it on, uh, on WhatsApp and we'll keep adding more channels as High Level opens those up for us. Cheers.